And now, I'm gonna wrap up and bring up the beautiful cast of CODA to receive the Spotlight Award. You guys were all so hungover from last night. Um, this is totally amazing. Um, I want to thank the, I'm going to let everyone speak, but I'll speak first. Um, I want to thank the Hollywood Critics Association. Critics are important. Um, we premiered our movie at Sundance. We had no distributor in place. Um, it was during a pandemic. I was like, what is going to happen with this movie? I love it. I don't know if anyone else is gonna love it. Um, and it's scary to put your film out there and hope that somebody buys it, hope that somebody loves it. And you kind of sit through your premiere and then you wait with bated breath as reviews start to come out. And what happened with this film was amazing. So I wanna thank all the critics in this room who lifted this movie up, who put wind in our sails, who started our journey. Um, because you helped us find an audience. Um, you helped the movie grow and become bigger and bigger and be the little engine that could. Um, that along with Apple, and I thank you Apple for, for being our home because that was an amazing success and it did what Sandra said here, which is it showed that a movie like this with this cast can be a success, can be funny, can entertain people, can exist in this marketplace and, and do something. So I'm gonna let you guys all talk, but I'm so proud of this cast. Um, I'm so proud of the journey that this film has taken, and I wanna thank you all for supporting us. No. No. My friends, look at this cast. Nick, what do you think? It's great, huh? Yeah. What do you think, Lynn? Where's Lynn? Where's Lynn Manuel? There you are. There you are. Is Will here? Is Will Smith here? Will, Will. Kenneth Branagh, you're here. What do you think? Aren't these guys great? This cast is great. I don't know who's here, but it's okay. I know everyone here is in this room really are people who love to be creative, who love being artists just like we do. And I cannot emphasize enough how freaking proud I am to be standing on stage with my fellow actors because they truly deserve to be seen, to be heard, and to be respected as artists, just like everyone else. So, directors, writers, actors, get ready to work with all of us and the rest of the deaf community. I love you. Thank you. Thank you, Hollywood uh, Critics Association. It's really, really quick. I'm going to be really quick. Uh, we're always talking about inclusion and diversity, and I think this is a perfect example for inclusion and diversity. We usually refer to CODA as a movie with deaf actors. I would say this is a movie with three amazing actors that happen to be deaf, and one actor that happened to be Mexican. That's it. <laughs> Well, are you ready? I just wanted to say thank you to recognizing us. As critics, obviously, all of you 
have a little bit of an ego, you want to have the best words and the best opinion better than your fellow writer's opinions, right? And get in line, right, with all of those egos. But I learned some new vocabulary words that I've never seen before based on your writing. And you put some pretty big words in there. And I have to, you know, it took me some time to pick up the dictionary and the thesaurus to figure out what the hell you're trying to say. But you have such intelligent word choices and when it all comes down to it, it leads to us, the cast of CODA, being here today. And because of you, we're here. So thank you so much for your heart. Thank you for writing your opinions. And so thank you so much, HCA. You know, growing up, I always looked up to Marley. And when I was a young child, I'd see Marley and she got the Oscars. She won the award. And it was amazing because she got into Hollywood. She opened the door. So I saw and I knew I could get to that door. I could get to that stage. And it's not an easy road. It was a long road. There are so many challenges to get here. And I just want to thank you all for welcoming us into this place and recognizing Troy. He's such an amazing actor. And there's so many deaf actors that are amazing in this new generation. And we have so many stories out there to tell. So I really look forward to showing you guys more of our deaf culture. Thank you all so much. I'm gutted I'm last because everyone just spoke so eloquently and there's nothing left really for me to say. That this movie was such an amazing experience to make. What I will say is I have learned so much from working with Marley, Troy and Daniel. Eugenio, Sean, I feel so lucky. I was 17, I was British, I didn't know any American Sign Language going into this movie. And I worked hard, but the minute I flew to Massachusetts and met the Rossi family, they took me under their wing, they helped me, they were so welcoming, and I would always get signs wrong, and I would always fingerspell really long words that I didn't know the sign for, and Daniel would say, there's a sign for that, and he'd be so warm, and honestly, I can't thank this cast enough. I love you all so much. We are a family off screen and on screen, and this award, Scott, thank you for being such a big advocate for our movie. Thank you to all the critics, and just thank you very much. We're so, so, so grateful.